Welcome back here to another video on the Iron Man series. As you can see, we are wearing our farmer boots and we've got ourselves the farming pets out. And that's because today we'll be doing a farming episode. Now, before we get started, I want to say a huge thank you for all the support in the last episode. Actually insane. You guys destroyed it. We got so many of you guys to follow the channel, which is amazing. Really appreciate it. Really means the world to us and we're getting closer to that 20k. So if you guys are, have not yet subscribed, now's your chance to be here before the 20k club. Definitely subscribe. Doesn't cost a thing. And let's get on to this episode. Now, of course, starting out today, we need to go ahead and purchase ourselves a new tool, a new farming tool, and that is the potato hoe. All right, so we're back here in the hub. Of course, let's head over to Anita. She's just upstairs below Jacob, just here in the hub. Now, you guys already know where Jacob is because of all the sugarcane stuff we have to do. All the contests happen through Jacob. But let's upstairs here and buy ourselves this blueprint. So, so Anita here has the blueprint for sale. There it is. It takes one gold medal and 32 Jacob tickets. We actually have three gold medals, so we have enough of that. And of course, a few Jacob tickets. So let's buy this here right now and trade. Let's go, we got it. Okay, my brother's turn. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and buy mine as well. Perfect, there it is. So let's go ahead, of course, wrap this thing with potatoes and craft it into the potato hoe. Let's go ahead and grab that from our sack here. Uh, there it is, and there are potatoes. Perfect, we've got enough here. Definitely more than enough. So let's go ahead and just do that here in the crafting table. We'll put it in the center. And of course, let's wrap it around. There we have it. There it is, wow. Pythagorean potato hoe, perfect. So let's go ahead craft that quick and I think we can upgrade it as well let me just go ahead and see if we have enough Jacob tickets because once we have enough enchanted potato we should be able to upgrade this thing to the next level so let's go ahead and take a look here let's see let's claim some things from our events so claim rewards there it is let's claim these ones one two and one more three there we go so you got ourselves 47 Jacob tickets which is definitely not enough for the upgrade. So we have to do some more contests here coming up. Of course, there's still a lot more to do this to add some enchants to this thing. So let's go ahead and do that now. Now, before we add a ton of those enchants, let's grab my hoe as well here and craft it. Now, I actually need a few more potatoes, which I'm going to grab here from the hub. There they are right beside us. I only have like three stacks. So I need a few more. I need not, uh, six more stacks. So I'll just collect these really quick here. I'll probably grab my shuriken hoe. I'm not sure if that's going to help me, but it might give me a few more here through harvesting. So let's do that really quick. And we'll cut back. And we already have enough. That went so quick. What? Okay, so there we go. Let's put this thing in the middle and put the potatoes all the way around just like that. There you go. And boom, we got it. All right, perfect. So let's take a look here to see how many enchanted potatoes we have. It looks like we only have two stacks and 14, but I have a feeling this farm that we have on the island will help us out a lot here getting these enchanted potatoes. But let's take a look here at our Jacob tickets because we might be slacking on that side of things. Let's see here, claim rewards. Oh gosh, we only have two to claim. Okay, so we definitely are behind in the Jacob tickets. We need to do a lot more of that. There we go. So we have to attend a, a, a ton more events, which is going to be still good for our farming level because our farming level is a little bit low here on the profile. So definitely going to help us with that. Now, before we get those potatoes and those tickets, of course, let's throw a few enchants under this hoe. There's a few we're going to go over here right now. Some very important enchants you have to get yourself just so you guys can follow along here if you guys haven't done this step. And uh, it'll help you guys a ton when farming potatoes. Exactly. Now, the first book, I would say the most important book here is from Elizabeth. It actually costs some bits. As you can see, I do have 221 thousand bits but uh, if you're still starting out the book isn't that expensive it only costs 4,000 bits. So here it is in the menu. As you can see, it's right here. You right click and you get into the menu. But you want to get yourself cultivating one. You know, I always keep forgetting these books, but there are books for mining as well, like compact one and also for um, fishing, as you can see, expertise. But we want the cultivating one for farming. So let's go buy that here with our bits. There we go. Confirm. And that'll be the first book we'll be applying to our potato hoe. All right, so let's add this book here in the anvil and of course the hoe, just like so. Oh my gosh, that rhymes. There you go. Cultivating one and we got it on the hoe. Okay, next step are a few books. For example, the Turbo Potato book. So we actually have a Turbo Potato 4 book here. We can convert these ones here, hopefully into another 4 and turn this into a 5 and add that to the hoe. All right, and we just had enough books to actually turn this into a 5, which is crazy. It was on the dot. Turbo Potato 5. No way. Okay, so let's add it to the hoe really quick. Just like that. Now, these books can actually be collected through doing potato contests. Um, now, the only way we got these were actually through doing the shiny orbs. We actually like got so many of these events finished up. We even got some golds and stuff, like which is crazy because we didn't have a potato farm, right? So we got so many potatoes just through the shiny orbs. So we got ourselves now a Turbo Potato 5 book through the special mirror, which is crazy. All right, so combine that to here, add that to the hoe. There we go, two potato, five. Now from that special event, which recently just happened as well, guys, the shiny orbs, we got ourselves a ton of special books. For example, the farming for dummy books and the harvesting six book. These can all be applied to the hoe and can help a ton. So I hope you guys got those because they're really good. And of course they come in handy. So let's use these right now and enchant that hoe. All right, and harvesting six, boom. And farming for dummies, boom. We can do this like five times, I'm pretty sure. There have, as you can see, Farming Fortune 5, Cultivating 1, Harvesting 6, and Turbo Pumpkin 5. Now, of course, let's go ahead and grab one more thing in the hub, and then we're gonna add one more final book right at the end. Now, the reforge we're gonna be getting is right here near the blacksmith, just on the right side where the uh, smith monger is. You're gonna right-click him, and as you can see right here, it says Blessed 
fruit, blessed fruit. And this can be applied for farming. As you can see, it gives a bunch of XP, farming fortune, things like that. Applied cost will be 10,000 coins, and you can purchase this before stone for a million coins. Boom, there we go. And then we'll add it to the special anvil right behind us, just like that. And let's apply it. And now it's a blessed potato hoe. Now here you are at the farm and we did mention there's one more book left and that will be replenish. Replenish will allow us to actually farm and also replant at the same time. Because for example, right now, if I do this, look at that. We just destroyed the farm and there's no crop replanted. And that's going to be a pain here if you have to refarm or replant this whole entire farm. You can't really do that, right? So that's why replenish is so handy and it's actually crafted with enchanted cocoa. And the enchanted cocoa can be collected, of course, in our cocoa farm, which we have already made a while back. So we actually collected a ton of these enchanted cocoa beans and we can craft ourselves cookies now to craft ourselves this replenish book. So now these are actually crafted with cocoa and wheat. So we do have a few pieces of wheat. I have to get some more from the hub here, of course, but we should throw this in just like that. And this will craft a cookie, which we're going to be using. We need 16 of these cookies, so we'll craft one right now. There we go. We'll craft two from this batch. So we guess we need a stack of uh, our 32 wheat for one cookie. So let's craft 16 of these right now, and we'll cut back when that's finished. All right, so craft another cookie there. That's seven. 8, 9, 10, 13, 14. There we go. We got 16 enchanted cookies. Now this will craft ourselves the special book that we'll be using. There it is. Replenish one. So let's grab that here. Let's apply this to the hoe. And then we should be ready to farm and see how many enchanted potatoes we can actually get through one layer of the farm and see how many hot potato books we can actually craft. There we go. Boom, replenish one. All right, this thing's definitely ready to go. And as you can see, the more we farm, it'll reach a certain count on the counter and it'll actually go up a rarity. So we're hoping that this will go up to a rare, uh, potentially legendary one day, just like the sugarcane hoe, as you can see. So we have to work our way through that, of course, and farm a ton, but that's all good here for the farming XP. So there we have it. We can craft our book as well here. Replenish one. Let's go ahead and buy that. Perfect. I don't know why I said buy, but there we have it. That's perfect for us. Now you also want to be running the farm with a speed of 327 if it's built like this. If it's a vertical farm, it would be a speed of 120. So definitely make sure you do that. But I'm going to change our farming boots right now to the specific speed because we're going too fast at the moment. Here we go. And be uh, 327. So almost like sugarcane actually. It's funny. So there we go. And let's grab the hoe. And let's try this thing out. Now you also want to maintain a 45 degree angle. I guess you can be a little off. I'm currently at 48 and that still works. So let's try 45 right now, actually. There you go. And you just farm away like this and just collect a ton of potatoes. All right, so we're quickly do a sugar cane contest here for some Jacob tickets. As you can see here in our event calendar, we did unfortunately miss the other potato farm contest, which is right here. The potato farm contest. We did miss that one, unfortunately, but there is another one coming up. So that is okay. It is right over here at uh, 12 a.m. So we'll wait for that one, but let's go ahead and do some sugarcane here and get some tickets. All right, so here we have it. We got the contest done. Um, let's see me actually Jacob tickets we can get from this. Let's go to Hub quick. Let's take a look. I think we have enough now though. It's, like, hopefully we got 16 or more than 16 for this. Let's see. Let's claim a reward. There it is. Oh my God, we got 10. Oh my gosh, we're short six. Okay, let's do another contest. All right, so we're cutting in here because we're doing our next kind of farming contest just for some more of these Jacob tickets. We're going to be doing some mushroom farming. We'll cut back, we'll see how many we have, and hopefully we have enough here to upgrade our potato hoe. Um, we're very close though to... This. Oh no, we're silver. No way. They stopped early. We gotta keep going here. No way. I did not think I was going to get silver. I did leave in between two, so... One second, and there we go. Silver. Let's go. All right, let's claim our tickets here. We should have enough now to craft the upgrade. Let's see. Claim our reward. There we go. And we got 15. Yeah, we have more than enough. Let's go. We do have an extra one on the island, so if we go back to the island here, we should have, have one extra after this craft. We have enough. Yes, let's go. You can see right here. We need 16 each spot, and we have that. There it is. Let's go ahead, add our potato hoe here into the center. Let's add our Jacob tickets all the way around. There we have it. And let's add our enchanted potatoes. Perfect. And there's the upgrade. Let's go. Let's go do that. Boom. There it is. Wow. Already a uncommon. Perfect. We'll keep upgrading this thing. But hopefully we're going to go ahead and catch ourselves another event here for potatoes. So we're cutting in really quick here because we're about halfway through the farm. And I couldn't believe how many enchanted potatoes I already have in the inventory. And let's craft these into baked potatoes. Let's see how many we can have here. Okay. Let me just get rid of this. Put that in. Oh my gosh, you already have seven baked potatoes. That's already seven hot potato books right there. That's only half the farm. Okay, so we're coming to the last stretch here of the farm. Look at that. And we'll tell you guys exactly how many baked potatoes we actually have. So let's see here, getting right to the end. And 
We can't really farm the other stuff as you can see in front of me just because there's no walls to do that. But right now we have 19 enchanted baked potatoes, which means if we had our, because uh, I switched my pet here halfway through because I'm going to level up my rabbit pet. But if we had our elephant pet out the whole time, we could easily have 20 enchanted baked potatoes, which means we can get two armor sets, hop potato book to the max with just one floor of this farm. That's crazy. This thing is so big. It's so massive. I'm pretty sure it's infinite. Let me go to the other side here. See if it's regrown or not. Yeah, it is. This thing's definitely infinite. That is crazy. Uh, this will help us so much. We have to do like two runs and we got ourselves a full hot potato like armor set. This is crazy. So let's craft the hot potato books right now. As you can see, I've got my final destination armor on. It's actually missing the potato books for the helmet and a few for the chest plate. So we should be able to get this done here right now. As you can see, we got 20 baked potatoes. So let's throw it into the crafting table right now. There you go, hot potato book. Let's just start crafting away. All the potato books are crafted. Look at that, there's a ton of these. This is like such a good method, it's crazy. Um, it's like definitely the way to do it. Just build yourself a farm. Okay, so let's grab our armor pieces here, the chest plate and the helmet. Throw these into the anvil, just like that. And we'll just craft away. So we have fully hot potato book, our final destination armor now, which is amazing. Look at this thing. It's like basically maxed out. We just have to recomb it, which is awesome. Also on top of that, we can actually craft ourselves the hoe upgrade as well. Just like my brother now. We did a little bit more farming. We got ourselves extra potatoes. We already had the check up tickets on us. I just didn't even pay attention. So let's get this thing here up to rare. There's a craft. Let's go. And boom, we upgraded it. Nice. Awesome. So the next upgrade is insane. It requires a stack of baked potatoes in each spot, which is crazy. Um, this will be definitely a hefty upgrade, but hey, you know what? It is definitely worth it. As you can see, we've got a bunch of tickets too we need to get. We don't have that right now, but that's going to be a grind and a half.